Today's episode is brought to you by Subway. Oh, uh, hey, what can I get you guys? Hey, could I try the rotisserie style chicken? A uh, sweet onion chicken teriyaki for me. Oven roasted chicken, please. Chicken and bacon ranch melt? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> so that's why they're called the chicken girls. <laughs> Subway, home of the chicken girls. Spike, what are you doing here? Said you missed me. So you just show up at my house? What about the tour? I wanted to see you. From the looks, <laughs> could use a ride. So, how is church? Did you still get something out of it without me there? What? Why are you asking that? Just making conversation. Oh, sorry. I, um, yeah, it was, it was fine. Look, I know you're upset about the whole brownie and pity party approach, but if there's something that you want to talk to me about, you can. I know that. It's just that you're like suspiciously quiet and it's kind of freaking me out. Maybe I'm just nervous about the game, you know? Recruiters are coming and all that stuff. Well, it's normal to be nervous. It's something that is important to you and that you want to go well, which it will. Thanks, Luna. Anything else up? No. That's really it. Thanks for the ride. It was really good seeing you, Brady. It was good seeing you, too. I can't. Please? But I'm here for you. I know. That's why I came back. So that we could start fresh. No, Spike, that's not why I texted you. I mean, of course I miss you, but... But? But, but I think I moved on. I don't believe that for a second. We'll believe it. I think we should just be friends. We can't be friends. I know you still love me. I know you do. Well, I kissed somebody else. Who? It doesn't matter who. I just said that because I don't want you to live in that fantasy world anymore where we're still in love with each other, okay? It's the only reason I said that. Who, Birdie? It doesn't matter. I gotta go. Thanks for the ride. Hey, what the? Ellie, can we please talk? I'm really sorry. Just let me explain. What are you even doing, Pete? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey. Hi. I wanted to talk to you. Oh. Now you want to talk to me. Cool. Yeah, and it's important. What's with the attitude? Is it about Stephanie? Yeah, how'd you know? Hey, Ty! Spike! 
Stop. Get Stop. off me. Please. Get off me. Please, just get go. off me. Okay. Hold on. Kiss my girl. Kiss my girl, bro. Never Both kissed your girl, man. Kiss my girl. Never get back up off oh, me. Oh, so you're lying to me. Stop. Get up off so you're lying to me. Get away from me, bro. Stop. What do you do, bro? Get up off me, bro. Because she's alive. Get away from me. She's alive. What is your problem? Get up. Ty, what is he talking about? It's not what it looks like. I was going to tell you, but can we just talk about this in private? Keep walking. You're lying. Keep walking. Oh, am I embarrassing you? Am I making too much of a scene? Sorry this is so hard for you. Luna. You just keep walking, please. <sighs> All right, which long response question should we pick? What about the ones about themes and motifs? I love a good motif. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do you want to focus on the theme of rivalry or something else? Cause... No, that sounds good. I guess you saw that. Yeah. But like no judgment or anything. We've all been there. Just kind of surprises me because you know all the material and you're super smart, so. Yeah. Uh, I guess I just have all these ideas in my head and I can't put them on paper or something that's lost in the translation, so. Actually, can I level with you? I am actually dyslexic. I haven't really told many people, but that's why I listen to audiobooks all the time, because it's just easier for me. Thanks for telling me. It's super cool that you trust me like that. I do trust you. You're a really cool girl, man. Do, do you think it's an actual fire? No, it's, it's probably just a joke. Okay. on that? It's fine. What were you thinking? I was thinking I still love you. And I wanted to kill that guy. All I can think about is you guys just kissing. He didn't even kiss me back. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Brody, why did you even want to see me? Because there's something wrong with my brain from the accident. And I, I thought it was getting better. I just keep having nightmares. I have them too. You do? Yeah. I went to the doctors and they said I have this PTSD. Loud noises or car horns. Even driving was giving me the worst panic attacks. I couldn't get behind the wheel of a car for three months. I thought I was the only one. Were you not? Hey, Luna. Are you okay? I'm fine. I refuse to give him the satisfaction of seeing me cry. Listen, Luna, I saw what happened between Birdie and Ty. What? Well, I was at church too. Um, I saw them, but they didn't see me. They were just sitting together and it all just kind of happened. But it was all Birdie. I mean, Ty didn't really kiss her back. Didn't really kiss her. I mean, I don't think he saw it coming. Can you just stay out of my business? Hey, you. What's up? Your vibe's off. My, my vibe is off? Yeah, you seem a little down or something. Yeah, I, I guess I am. Well, I'm all ears if you want to talk about it. Things have just been really weird between me and Astrid. She's going through some pretty heavy family stuff, and I don't know how to help her. Well, we're just in high school. We're not supposed to have all the answers, right? Especially when it comes to the heavy stuff. to the first regional debate between Attaway and Millwood. 
Representing the Millwood Debate Society, we have Calvin. <laughs> and from Attaway, we have Ellie Mack. <laughs> Today's debate topic, is it ever morally acceptable to withhold the truth? Representing... All right, come on guys, let's get ready. We got a big game today. Okay, everybody better be decent, and if you're not, well, you've been warned. Jesus, Luna, you can't just barge into the boys' locker room like this. Okay, well, I just did. Everyone that isn't Thai, get out. What? Out! Hey, you know I could've met you somewhere other than the boys' locker room, right? Yeah, well, the game's about to start, and it's going to be quick. Look, I'm so sorry, Luna. Not, not now, Ty. We'll talk about all that later, but I just wanted to tell you that I'll be out in this dance cheering you on. I know how important this game is to you, and I don't want our drama to stand in your way. Thank you so much. That means the world to me, Luna. Not now, Ty. Like I said, we'll talk about all that later, but just... Go out there and focus on the game, okay? Thanks for, thanks for, thank you for driving all this way. I guess I'll see you when I see you. Brody, wait, wait. I'll move back to Attaway. We'll start new. I still love you. I love you too, but I'm not in love with you. It took a very, very long time for me to get to that place. And I know it's hard, but I just think you should go, okay? You know this would never work. I'm not okay. <laughs> no situation is black or white. Life is full of gray areas. We can't possibly set a steadfast moral standard and say that any kind of lack or mission of truth is ethically wrong. If it is to reduce harm, it is potentially morally excusable. That's where I'd have to strongly disagree with you. Relationships are built on the foundation of trust. Without trust, we have nothing. Even a white lie can cause that foundation to crumble. We second guess everything we encounter and everything we're told. If we can't take anything at face value, then we would end up in a deeply paranoid, confused, and broken relationship. In conclusion, I would have to agree with the philosopher Immanuel Kant that lying could cause the complete collapse of I'm sorry, <laughs> I just can't. All right, so, chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin? I'm not hungry. Come on, you don't want this Soft, gooey perfection. Mm -hmm. They're your favorite. Look, it's very nice of you guys to try and cheer me up, but a cookie's not gonna fix anything. No, but I mean, it definitely helps. I just can't believe I blew it. 
You didn't blow it. Mm. You were amazing. You were confident, mm. articulate. Yeah. And... You're hysterical. Come on, Ellie. Most of us would never even have the courage to get up there. Mm. Or to do what you did with Robbie. She's right. You were so brave. You really think so? Yes. Of course we do. He's all really good. <laughs> <laughs> Need any help? The flash went shot. Want me to try? What happened? Mel knocked into me this morning and I dropped it. I'm really sorry. She's upset. It doesn't give her the right. She's upset that I broke up with her. Oh, you did? Next time on Chicken Girls. Supposedly, if she knocked three times right at midnight, the ghost of this little girl would knock back. Have you heard a deafening? Knock. Oh my God. What was that? Knock. Oh my God. No. Knock. Ah!